Vehicles today are becoming more and more integrated, relying on data bus to control much of the vehicle's electronics, including the audio system. This makes it difficult to replace or interface to the factory audio system. In many cases, the vehicle owner simply wants to upgrade the audio system while leaving the factory radio intact. To understand the obstacles with these premium audio systems, we must first look at how they operate. Vehicles equipped with premium audio systems have separate amplifiers, generally located under the dash, under a seat, or in the rear of the vehicle. Most applications include component speakers as well as a subwoofer. We will focus on a specific factory audio system where the radio sends a flat, fixed audio signal to the amplifier, then uses data bus messages to control the amplifier's output. A fixed amplitude signal is unaffected by any of the adjustments made from the radio. The signal will not change when volume, balance, fader, and tone controls are adjusted. These controls take place in the amplifier in response to the data messages from the radio. For example, when the volume of the radio is adjusted, a digital message tells the amplifier to increase or decrease the input gain, resulting in volume change. Balance, fader, and tone controls work in the same way. This is possible because the amplifier has a digital signal processor, or DSP, built into it, making this simple and cost-effective. The DSP is also used to apply equalization, making low-cost speakers sound better. Premium audio systems often include Bluetooth hands-free calling, voice recognition, and in many cases, navigation. The audio signal for these systems is routed into the amplifier on a separate audio line. This makes it possible for the DSP and the amplifier to play this audio in specific speakers and attenuate the music, replacing or mixing this audio into it. These audio sources are also controlled through the vehicle's data bus system. Now that we understand how the factory system works, let's look at how aftermarket amplifiers and speakers are typically installed in these vehicles. The most ideal scenario would be to use the flat audio signal coming out of the factory radio. However, because this signal is fixed, the radio's volume control will not work, so the more common method is to use the signal after the amplifier, but there are many problems with this method. Because the amplifier separates the audio into independent channels for each speaker, to get a full range signal, these channels must be summed together using a sophisticated aftermarket signal processor. The factory amplifier also applies equalization and sometimes time alignment to tune the audio to the car. The aftermarket processor can undo most of this, but not without considerable installation expertise and a lengthy tuning process. After the audio signal has been corrected, the DSP provides RCA outputs for any aftermarket amplifier. However, there is no way to properly route the separate Bluetooth call audio, voice alerts, and navigation prompts to the correct speakers. Making matters worse, in many cases, the factory amplifier modifies the EQ curve as volume is adjusted undoing the correction applied by the aftermarket DSP. Now there is a better way. Introducing the DSR-1 by Rockford Fosky and iDatalink Maestro. The DSR-1 simplifies amplifier replacement in vehicles with premium audio by completely replacing the factory amplifier, allowing it to utilize the clean audio signal from the factory radio. All the DSR-1 connections are made through a vehicle-specific T-harness, making installation seamless. The DSR-1 provides eight channels of RCA outputs that can connect to any aftermarket amplifier and includes the legendary Rockford Fosgate 360 DSP built in. This makes it possible for the audio output to be tuned directly from your compatible smartphone. When installed, the T-Harness sends the clean two-channel audio signal, as well as the Bluetooth and navigation voice, directly to the DSR-1 through separate input channels. The vehicle's data bus messages are sent directly to the DSR-1, which translates them, allowing the radio controls to control the eight RCA preouts from the DSR-1. The result is the factory architecture is perfectly replicated. For example, when a Bluetooth call is made or received, 
the DSR-1 routes the call audio to the correct speakers while muting or attenuating the source audio. The factory's bass control will even control the aftermarket subwoofer volume, eliminating the need for a separate control knob and giving the user a seamless experience. New vehicles are becoming more and more integrated every year, making them harder to interface to. The DSR-1 offers a simple and seamless way to upgrade your audio system while maintaining the factory radio and infotainment system. Currently, the DSR-1 is compatible with many newer Ford, Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge vehicles, and more will be added in the future. Ask your local iDatalink or Rockford Fosgate retailer or representative for more information about the DSR-1.